What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about selling on GOAT or selling on StockX in the UK. Just to jump in and interrupt this video very quickly, essentially, as is the way with sneaker reselling, I was planning to just do a video on selling one pair of shoes and selling them on either StockX or GOAT, looking at both platforms and seeing which one gave us the most amount of profit. What actually happened is after I sold these shoes, I got another pair that I managed to cop. So I thought, why not have a race? And we raced StockX versus GOAT and sold one pair on each. So that is what's happening with the video. It will all make sense in a bit. So please be patient and let's get straight into it. So these are the shoes which I'm gonna be selling on that platform. Not sure which one yet. We're going to have a look in a minute to see which one's going to give us the highest payout after all of the fees and expenses that are detailed on the platform. These are the shoes. These have only just been released. If you know and you want to find out how I managed to get my hands on some of these shoes, which have only just been released in limited numbers, I use a platform called Crep Chief Notify. I've done a few videos on this. I'm not an expert on reselling hyped stuff or even getting your hands on it. But to be fair, Crep Chief Notify, they're on it. They know what shoes are coming out, how much potential resale value is in them, where to get your hands on them, how to use bots, how to use different proxies. Basically, give you all the information you need to secure your hands on the goods to resell and make a profit or just keep them for yourself. So I've still got my discount code running with Crep Chief Notify. So if you use the code BMB5, you will save £5 off when you sign up. Please feel free to check it out if you want to. I'll leave a link in the description below. So these shoes anyway, these are actually quite cool looking, maybe a little bit leery for me, but the resale value is pretty good. So I paid 140, maybe 145 pound for the shoes and the resale value when I first got delivered these last Sunday, believe it or not, I actually managed to get shoes delivered on a Sunday. Um, I checked then before I made this video, I wanted to sell them live just so I could track it all. Um, but essentially these were going for about £300 on StockX and about $454 on GOAT. The price has dropped quite a bit, but they're still pretty profitable. So we're going to resell the shoes now and we're going to have a look at which platform to use, whether it's GOAT, whether it's StockX, which one's going to give us the highest payout and we're going to sell the shoes live. So let's have a look at StockX first. We'll go onto the StockX app. We'll type in, we'll type in ready made. I've got the black ones. So as you can see, the last sale was at 230 quid. I'm just going to look at some of the previous sales. We've got a US 10.5. So the last US 10.5 actually sold for 235 pounds. As you can see, the price from release date has dipped quite a bit so I really should have sold them last week but I didn't <laughs> so if we just hit sell now and we go to 10.5 we will see that our payout will actually be 206 pounds 80 pence after all of the fees and expenses so we've got 206 pound 80 let's go check out GOAT Right, let's have a look. Scroll down, hit sell. So I've got a 10.5. So I could sell them right now for $336, which would make, which would give me $299 payout after the fees. So if we have a quick look at what the actual exchange rate is at the moment from dollars to pounds, currently $299 is £216, which basically means if we sell these shoes on GOAT, we are going to make an extra £10, depending on what sort of exchange rate commission fee that GOAT might actually charge us. So for the purposes of the video, and because I think a lot more people are unsure about GOAT with regards to charges and import duties, it being in the US, I'm going to take the plunge. I'm going to sell these on GOAT. Hopefully we'll make an extra tenner than we would on StockX and we will see what happens. So I will now do that. $336, which is the price I can sell the shoes at right now. So I'm just gonna hit sell. 
confirm the price. Let's have it. Right then, lads. 24 hours on, the game has been changed. We have secured another pair. A rare pair, I might add. Let's crack these open. So literally just after I sold the shoes on GOAT, got a notification that these had been secured. 24 hours later, they've arrived. So let's have a look. See if you can guess what they are. <laughs> Mate. They are naughty. Certainly a bit different. Once again, these were secured via the old Crep Chief boys. So, uh, big shout out to them. So as I say, it does seem to work. I am just securing shoes left, right and centre and reselling them for a profit, which is pretty good to be fair. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to make this proper interesting now. We're going to have a race. Let's race. From the UK, StockX versus GOAT. Which is quicker? Which is going to pay us out first? and how long it takes, the whole process. As you know, we sold these on GOAT yesterday. I've not yet shipped them. I'm gonna now sell these on StockX, which I can currently sell them for at 240 quid, which gives me a payout of 210 pound. So I'm gonna sell these on StockX. These are sold on GOAT. We're gonna print off both the shipping labels. We're gonna package them up. We're gonna take them to UPS at exactly the same time, drop them off together, and we're gonna see who wins the race. So stay tuned. Right, so I'm just gonna sell the Nike Air Max One Clot, Kiss of Death. Order confirmed. Oi oi, let's have it. Right, so I've just sold both of the shoes and at the moment we're looking at about 167 pound profit in total. 96 pound for these bad boys bought them for 115 sold them for 211 and around 71 pound profit for these so as long as we don't get any more any fees or import duties other than the ones that are already listed this is our final payout that i've calculated this profit with so we'll see what happens got my email confirmation from stockx and my email confirmation from goat yesterday they've both included the prepaid shipping labels so i'm going to print them both off now fire up the old printer package up the shoes and we'll take them to ups so it appears that goat are actually using dpd now instead of ups so they've given me once i've printed this out they've actually given me a list of my local dpd pickup shops so um, I'm going to have a look at them. There might be a slight delay because I'm going to have to go one place for the UPS and the next place for DPD, but I'll make sure I do it on exactly the same day within the hour. After all, we've got to keep this race fair. Right, so I've got my two sets of labels printed off, one for GOAT, one for StockX. I'm now going to package up the shoes like I've done before, and we're going to take them off. So for everyone that was asking me before where I get these boxes from, um, I essentially just keep the boxes that the shoes arrive in because uh, they're literally perfectly sized. Keep the boxes that you keep the box that came with, and literally just cross off the label on the top, and then stick your label over the top of that. Put some filling in, which I'll show you now, and uh, you're good to go. Right, so that's package number one dropped off. DPD for GOAT. They gave me a little uh, ticket with the tracking number on it. The UPS drop-off point is about 1.5 miles away. So we're gonna head there now and we should make it a very fair race. Oh, 
So that is the UPS parcel dropped off for StockX and the race, the race has officially begun. Right guys, so the results are in. Drop the shoes off on Sunday, DPD with GOAT, UPS with StockX. Tuesday morning, I got my first message, my first confirmation that the shoes have been verified, checked, and my payout was ready. Who was the winner? Drum roll, please. Drum roll! It was StockX. Uh, and then two hours, 37 minutes later, I got a text from GOAT saying my payout was ready with them. So basically both of them were within three hours of each other and about a two day duration from dropping the shoes off at the courier to actually being paid out, which I thought was phenomenally quick. It really comes down to both platforms are equally as quick. And I imagine that the difference in time was mainly due to delivery time, pickups and shipping, as opposed to any of the actual internal processes going on at GOAT or StockX. Profits from these shoes then, the Nike Ready Mades, we made a profit of 64 pounds and four pence. The Nike Air Max Clots, we made 91 pounds 21. So that was a total profit of 155 pounds 25 pence. As always, I'll leave all relevant links in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll be back again soon for the next one. Cheers guys.